According to some evaluations, today's advanced submarines such as the Virginia and Sea Wolf class submarines have been evaluated to run only 5 decibels more than the average ocean background noise. Even Sweden's cheaper air independent propulsion submarines have managed to slip undetected to sink US carriers during exercises. Yet some naval analysts are clearly bearish about the prospects for submarine stealth in the 21st century, looking forward to highly sensitive low-frequency sonars, advanced satellite-based optical sensors that can completely bypass acoustic stealth, and powerful computer processors that can shuffle large amounts of data to distinguish faint contact from background noise. China is even developing a satellite laser-based surveillance system aimed at detecting ships that have sunk 500 meters deep. China is also notable for making changes in using altered entanglements for encrypted communication by teleporting molecules over long distances. This can be applied to communicating with submerged submarines, a technically challenging task in particular to transmitting orders from national commanding authorities to launch nuclear weapons. Squid Magnetometers Another well-known submarine hunting tactic is to use the magnetic anomaly detector which is triggered by the metal hull of the submarine. The threat posed by MAD has led navies to degauss submarine hulls to minimize the magnetic profile. Germany specifically developed Type 212 and 214 submarines with non-metallic hulls. But China announced that Professor Xi Mongxi of the Shanghai Institute of Microsystems and Information Technology has developed a cryogenic liquid nitrogen-cooled squid that reduces noise problems and in field tests, has proven capable of detecting iron objects deep underground even when mounted on a helicopter. Recently, the field of mechanics has increasingly demonstrated its potential to disrupt established paradigms in various fields of warfare, mainly due to the concept of completion entanglement, the extraordinary phenomenon in which bound particles continuously mirror each other's behavior in extraordinary ways. While still facing range coherence limitations, hazardous sensors and communicators have the potential to bypass many of the limitations and vulnerabilities of traditional radio frequency sensors, remaining effective even if the aircraft profile is jammed or hidden. China appears to have taken an early lead on the evolution radar, although how quickly the technology can be developed into an operationally viable system remains to be seen. Today, acoustic detection remains the main method of detecting and tracking submarines. In addition to the active and passive sonars installed on ships and submarines, they are also installed in underwater surveillance systems, concealed in buoys by maritime patrol aircraft such as the Japanese P-8 Poseidon or P-1, and lifted into the water by anti-ship helicopters, such as the MH-60 RC Hawk. Anti-submarine warfare aircraft can utilize a variety of assistive technologies beyond sonar which has historically played a major role. During World War II, carrier surface search radar led to the destruction of many German U-boats, which allowed patrol aircraft to detect and dive under diesel-powered submarines as they surfaced at night to recharge their batteries. Although snorkels give submarines a way to inhale air undetected, they are also vulnerable to detection by modern synthetic aperture radars. However, while many diesel-electric submarines remain operational, most modern submarines use air or nuclear propulsion allowing them to sail weeks or months before surfacing. While it may sound like a Star Trek techno babble, Squid leverages weapons technology to offer an ultra-sensitive magnetometer. Too sensitive, actually, because Squid picks up background noise from things as far away as solar flares. Researchers estimate that this type of Squid magnetometer can detect submarines from 6 kilometers away. Imperial College David Kaplan says that with better noise attenuation, the range could be much greater. By contrast, typical MADs are only effective for a few hundred meters, meaning the new squid has the potential to cover thousands of times more square meters. Quantum Compass 
The modified technology can also function as advanced navigation sensors to avoid submersible dependence on orbiting satellites to stay on course. Quantum navigation allows for a new generation of inertial navigation, enabling high-precision navigation without GPS. It is called Procurement Compass. It will be especially useful for submarines and other maritime platforms that can buy their positions with a high degree of accuracy. Navigation could thus potentially free China's operational platforms from dependence on space-based positioning systems, which can easily jam. Conny also notes that quantum navigation also has implicit offensive potential. The technology can also be applied to improve missile guidance and enhance precision strike capabilities. Satellites can also use sensors to modify submarine warfare. Satellites using gravimeters, which can increase the sensitivity of sensors designed to detect and measure gravitational fields, could potentially detect submarines, or more likely, seafloor dams with a new level of precision. Time will tell, if any, which technologies can be developed into practical operational systems. However, it is clear that scientists in China and Australia are betting that the development of goggles will play a role in changing the rules of undersea warfare in the 21st century.